Hi everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some fairy houses that I have made. I watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube and I thought that it would be kind of cool to try to put these together and come up with some of my own ideas. Uh, so I'll be showing you a little bit up close on some of the materials that I used. So for this black and white one, I had used a, uh, a water bottle and I cut the bottom of it off. And then right next to it, I had hot glued a paper towel roll. I cut it off and, and glued it to the, uh, to the water bottle. And it's just your average ordinary water bottle. It's, there's nothing special about it at all. It's just, it's just a plastic water bottle. And then what I did was I took a combination of some um, construction paper, some glue, and like Elmer's glue, and some water, and I meshed it all together. I, I um, kind of cut up the construction paper into some smaller parts, and I mushed it all up, and um, I got a pulp, kind of like a paper pulp. And so then what I did was I covered it, um, I started putting it all over the, around the outside of this bottom part here. And um, it really made kind of a cool, cool effect. It kind of uh, dried and it looked kind of like terracotta. So I wouldn't have necessarily had to paint it, but I had, I had kind of an idea in mind for how I wanted this very house to look. So I just continued on. And then um, the next thing that I did was I made a more like a, um, not a clay, but kind of like a Play-Doh type of, of um, product. And so I mixed some flour and a little bit of glue to give it some um, tenacity and some water, a little bit of salt so it helps with um, the curing of it. And then I just meshed it all together. It kind of made like a Play-Doh art. And um, I just rolled, um, kind of like rolling dough <laughs> into like little small um, little small rounded pieces, flattened it out, and then just started to line it up and then I did like a spiral going all the way up to the top there. And you can see at the very, very top how it kind of spirals out. I just made it, I painted it so that it would kind of accentuate that as well. And then on this side I did the same thing. Let me um, bring up the camera just a little bit so you can see. I did the same thing. Um, just rolled out the dough and um, kind of wrapped it around so it made like a spiral all the way to the top and um, then you can see the end I just wrapped it all the way to the end and it sticks pretty good and uh, when it starts to dry out a little bit you can always add a little bit of water to it and then I did the three-dimensional art over the top of that which is the vine so you can see that it actually kind of sticks out over the top of this I added the vine and the flower and for the flower, I just did some like little round uh, drops, kind of like when you're making cookies, little round drops, and I pushed them with my fingers, and it kind of made the little petals, and I just put the petals all the way around, and then stuck one uh, little round ball in the center, pushed it in, and then stuck a, the bottom of a pencil in there just to create that look there. This, um, this house is actually not all the way done. Um, I'm going to be adding um, some stuff for the middle of this either like a little rhinestone or something in the middle of that just to, to Just to bring it up a little bit more. I do need to seal this as well So before I add those touches, I will be um, sealing it all just to make sure that it's um, all the paint stays intact and um, it went through a move so um, I do have to come back and touch up a paint I have a little bit of touch up paint here and then on the bottom too I'm still not done with the bottom. I'm going to add some lights in the bottom of that and so that through these little holes here, through the little windows, you'll be able to see some lights. And I think that there's a, you can probably see a little bit of the light through that hole in the door as well. On the bottom here, I had purchased just some little fake uh, flowers from the dollar store and um, just added them uh, here and there all the way around um, after I had painted. I used uh, acrylic water-based paint again. I like to use that a lot. Um, I think it's probably um, Anita's. I, I usually use Anita's. 
and um, so I painted all of this um, first and added that little um, that little glitter shine with some of the glitter paints and then um, after that then I was able to put on the um, the little um, well they like little fake flowers and little fake things some of this I think is something that you could put into a fish tank so um, and then when I seal it these will these uh, little flowers and stuff they'll they'll get a little bit stiffer so that they stay on better and um, I did also do the molding of the stairs out of that play-doh so then um, I did the painting uh, black and white on the top to make the spiral and when I'm done with it, it's going to have a little bit of a, a little bit better base on it. This kind of, um, it's a little bit thin right now, but I still have to get the lights in there to, you know, I need something in there to uh, support the lights. So that is the little, it's kind of like, I don't know, even know what to call it. It's so cute, the little uh, spiral uh, fairy house. And then this one over here, um, I kind of used the same concept and the same kind of materials. But what I did on this side, it's like a little mason jar. I kind of wanted this one to be, I started out with it being like a pencil holder. So off to the side here, you can see that there's an area. You could probably still get a pen or a pencil back here, but the flower got kind of big. So, um, you know, it doesn't show. It could just be like a, a little chimney area, but you could still get a pencil in there. That was the, the main effect I was going for. So I did, um, this is like a little mason jar and then off to the side here is um, another uh, paper towel roll but I kind of squared it out, kind of flattened it down and made it square and cut it off so it's a little bit shorter than the mason jar. I did utilize the lid on the mason jar to help support the top of this flower. Uh, it's sitting on, um, it's sitting on uh, this, uh, I don't know what to call this, but it's kind of like an egg carton thing. Um, reminded me of an egg carton, but it's just uh, like a egg carton material, like a cardboardish material, and so that that jar is sitting on that, and all of this other stuff is just formed around it um, with that same um, uh, kind of like uh, paper pulp uh, putty that I used uh, that I made uh, with the um, with the construction paper. Um, I cut it pretty small, mixed it with some glue and some water, meshed it together until it kind of became like a pulp. And then it, it gives it this bumpy look. So on this dough over here, this is uh, made with the flour and the glue and the water and salt. And this is more of a smooth look. And uh, this one here is more bumpy and I wanted this one to be really bumpy. So then what I did was um, before I before I made the rose for the top, I had an open jar. And so I thought, well, it would be really cool to add my lights inside of this. And so you kind of have to think ahead when you're doing that kind of thing. Um, I did put like a little, I put like a little bird inside of there. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna turn on the lights now. So I have this little, these little lights that are made for Christmas. And I did make them so that you can remove them to change the, um, to change the batteries inside of there. So that just sits in there. You can change the batteries inside. Take it out and change the batteries. And then it's easy to turn on. And there's the light inside that shows the bird. And down inside of there are some little flowers. And then over here on this side, you can still see it from all the different angles. So it's just kind of like a little knick-knack that you can sit on your shelf. Or you could get the pencil and pen in on this side. And then um, after I got that done, then I um, started adding some of the flowers again on the outside. I did, uh, it started to dry, so I, ha I did all the hand painting, added the door and the little welcome mat. I don't know if you can see, the home mat. And then uh, painted the, um, the green on here with a little bit of, um, the, a technique that's uh, sponging so that you can get different colors in there and then the white for the top and then with the flower this is the rose on top what I had done was after I had gotten this molded out I had stuck the top on there with the um, at the top of the mason jar and I started adding some 
uh, aluminum foil and just shaped it out in the shape of a rose. And then I took that same uh, paper pulp that I had um, that I had made for the, the bottom and I just started to put it around the outside of this rose so it's kind of it's still got that real bumpy look I wanted it to be I didn't want it to be smooth I wanted it to be bumpy and kind of more nature type looking um, not even I mean it is more realistic looking but um, it's got a bumpy look to it and so it made it kind of kind of fun to paint and then um, so then I uh, used the acrylic water-based paints and painted that and then um, underneath uh, so that it kind of sealed the um, the transition between the rose and what would be considered probably the stem of the rose which is a little house with the bird I used these uh, artificial leaves now I could have done the leafing out of the aluminum foil as well but I kind of wanted to incorporate some artificial um, flowers and so I did leaves from artificial flowers up there and then some of the flowers uh, artificial flowers down here along the bottom and then after i was done painting and uh i sealed it i sealed it with a uh, uh, just a clear sealer to help make it shiny and also protect the paint because it's water-based paint you have to protect it then after i was done with with um all of that I came back and I did the little stones. Now these little stones, I believe, are for uh, a fish tank. And so I just got the real small ones and I just glued them on. Um, first with the hot glue and then I sealed them a little bit again with some, um, I think it was uh, E6000. And it was a little bit thinner, uh, a little bit thinner glue to hold them in. And so then um, it started to dry and it made kind of like this little orangey uh, look. So it looks more realistic. And then I sealed it again once more. This one, this uh, fairy house is actually complete. Um, I would like to put some little velvet, or not velvet, but uh, like maybe some felt around the bottom here, but um, I may just uh, sell it as is. Um, I, I do want to sell these once they're complete. This one is pretty much done. And so those are my fairy houses. If you guys like these fairy houses, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.